Before I get started, let me point out that this is going to be a four-part series, and I'll be giving each game a separate score. With that said, let's get started with the first three games. Ah, the Street Fighter franchise. It's been over 30 years and you're still going. For those who aren't familiar with the franchise, I'll give you a quick lesson. Street Fighter got its start in 1987 in the arcades called, well, Street Fighter. What made it unique was the six button layout and command based special techniques. It was also ported to several consoles as Fighting Street for some odd reason. What also made it stand out was that Player 1 was Ryu only, while Player 2 was Ken only. We also get the debuts of Adon, Gen, Birdie, and Sagat. Yep, no character selection for this game. Another interesting tidbit was that not a lot of people played this game. Most people I knew have played Street Fighter 2 and onward. Anyways, the plot is that Ryu has to prove that he is the greatest. He has to beat 10 opponents in 5 places. Between fights, there are bonus stages for points. Gameplay is pretty much basic, win 2 out of 3 rounds to advance. The graphics were quite good, but the animation is choppy. To be fair, this wouldn't hold today, but in 1987, I guess it's passable. Sound is basic, but what makes it stand out is the voice acting between fights. While I won't bash it for a lack of clarity, I will say that it wasn't really necessary to be included. The controls are stiff and the moves are hard to pull off. It may not look hard, but trust me, they only work when they want to. While the game did start the popular Street Fighter franchise, you should only play this if you have a nostalgic craving. This game gets 1.5 stars out of 5. Let's move on to February 6, 1991. The game was Street Fighter II The World Warrior. The game made even more history than its predecessor due to the financial success and popularity in the arcades. It was no surprise that this game was considered one of the greatest games of all time. What made this game shine is the improved gameplay, smoother animations, and debuts of E. Honda, Zangief, Blanca, Guile, Chun-Li, Thalsim, Balrog, Vega, and M. Bison. The difficulty is also more manageable this time around, and losing actually feels like losing due to carelessness rather than stiff controls. The special moves are also easier to execute this time around. This is also the first game that introduced multiple endings, and they vary from not losing a round to not using a continue. This was expected to happen considering the advancement in arcade technology. Overall, this game's success truly paved the way for the sequels to come. This game gets 3.5 stars out of 5. Now we go to March of 1992 with the release of Street Fighter II Champion Edition. I remember people talking about how they wish they could play as the bosses. I wish we could play as the bosses. That would be cool. Well, our wishes were granted and we got to play as them. In addition, we also got the chance to fight against Mirror itself, and the characters are more balanced this time around. Most of the portraits got a makeover, and it looks cleaner than in the previous game. Other than those changes, there isn't much else to talk about. So far, this game is the best, but can the other nine games outdo this one? I'll cover the next three games in part two. This game gets four stars out of five. If you want to make the game easier, I recommend a PS4 controller over the Xbox One controller. 